Hello guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, welcome. My name is Monica and happy Valentine's Day. I was so excited when I saw that Valentine's Day was gonna be on a Sunday and I went back and forth. I didn't wanna do, I kinda wanted to do a live stream, but then I realized not everyone's gonna have time because hopefully you get to spend Valentine's Day with your friends, your family, your significant other. So I really wanted to do just like a nice, fun, chatty, get ready with me and a cute Valentine's Day look. I have quite a few new products, so this is partially gonna be first impressions, but keep in mind they are first impressions because I, I hate it when people do first impressions and then pass them off as a review. This is not a review. They are first impressions, but they're a bunch of products that I've really been looking forward to and I finally got to pick up. And then a few I actually got sent in PR, so I'm pretty excited. This is probably going to be a long chat to get ready with me. I kind of am just gonna blab about whatever I wanna blab about. So get a snack, get a drink, and let's go. Okay, so let's talk about um, a few of the new products that I have first before we actually get started. Um, in PR, I actually uh, posted to my Instagram stories. So for the most part, if I do get PR, I do like to unbox one of my Instagram stories. Here's my Instagram, make sure you follow me there if you wanna see kind of more uh, makeup of the day posts, especially using my Pan That Palette for 2021, um, many PR unboxings and things like that. And on my story a couple days ago, which would have been like a week ago <laughs> when this video goes up, I unboxed this PR package from Influencer and Milk makeup and it's the new um, sunshine skin tint from milk and I'm very excited to try this out though I don't think for this look it's gonna be like the best because I really want like a medium cover <laughs> you hear Rex's little tippy tappies hi Rex oh he's just staring at me you can you, you can lay down it's okay good boy uh, so I'm really excited to try this out but this is a very like a uh, glowy light coverage foundation and I think I really want to go for more of a medium coverage today for the look that I have in mind so I'm going to save this for um, a different video and then try it out he's, he's got his stick now his rawhide <laughs> so I'm going to going to probably do this in another video um, I don't know if I'm going to do a first impressions or just wait and then do like a full review after I've been able to test like a lot of this so keep your eye out for that okay so other than that I went to Rite Aid a couple of days ago with Alvin because I really wanted to find the new physician's formula products and I was so happy that the Rite Aid was fully stocked and so I got a bunch of the products um so physician's formula came out with a new butter believe it line I think the, think a few of these are the butter believe it line uh, first is the putty primer so I love putty primers the one from elf is amazing the makeup revolution one is pretty good um, and I was so excited to see them come out with the putty primer so I'm definitely gonna be using this today they also came out with a new foundation. This is technically a foundation plus concealer, but we'll see about that. This is the Butter Believe It Foundation and Concealer, and I believe I got the lightest shade. This is Fair, and it looks... Uh, <laughs> I'm so pale. I hope this is going to be a decent match for me. Next, I got a mascara. I cannot remember. I think I tried a, a Physician's Formula mascara years ago. And to be honest, I don't really remember it. <laughs> so this is the Butter Blowout Mascara. Now, I didn't open this because I did get also um, from that Milk PR box, I got the Kush Mascara, the Mini. I've tried a few minis of this mascara and it's actually really good. So I kind of wanted to open up this one and use this. So I'm going to save this um, until I finish both the Kush and the um, Essence Lash Princess, which is my all-time favorite mascara of all time. And last but not least, Physicians Formula came out with a matte version of their Butter Bronzer, which is like their bestseller butter bronzer. So this is the Matte Minoy Bronzer. Ooh, and the little thingy just fell out. Um, I got... I don't know if they have different shades of this. It looked kind of like the same shade, but this is what I got. It looks like their lightest shade, I believe, um, but it smells delightful. I gotta find what scent it is because it just smells like a vacation. <sighs> It's amazing. Okay, so I really want to use this today. I never really use the little brushes that it comes with, so I'm just going to put that back in the container. <laughs> there we go. But yeah, so those are some of the newer products that I want to use today. And then as I go through, I'll try to remember to actually talk about the products as we go. For today, I kind of want to do my eyes first um, and then go out and do the rest of my face. So let me go ahead and do my eyebrows and then prime my eyes and then we'll touch base again. Okay, and we're back. I have eyebrows, my eyes are primed. And let's jump into the two palettes I really wanted to use for this look. So I want to use first the Sephora Pro. This is the cool palette. And this just has so many great cool tones, but specifically I kind of wanted to reach for these nice pinks. I know like it's kind of basic to do a pink look for Valentine's Day, but I kind of want to just do a pink look, you know? <laughs> so I want to use some of those pink shades up there. And then specifically for like the shimmers and stuff, I want to bring in the Crystal Zodiac palette. This I just picked in my uh, February Everyday Makeup Basket. If you missed I'll throw it up in the cards. But I want to find some shimmers from in here. Maybe bring in some of the mattes, but I'm thinking like this shimmer up here would be really pretty. The Rose Quartz or um, what is this? 
Can I pronounce it? Carnelian? Ooh, I, I struggled with that. Um, so kind of want to use a combination of these palettes and then maybe the highlighter in the middle for an inner corner highlight. Um, but yeah, so let's get cracking. How have you guys been? I haven't done like a chat to get ready with me, I think in a while. I'll throw my last one up in the cards. I also have a whole playlist of all of my chat to get ready with me videos. These are honestly like some of my most fun videos to film because I can kind of just sit down, do a fun look and talk to you guys. So let me know down below. How have you guys been doing? How was your January? I can't believe it's already basically Valentine's Day. And do you have any fun plans for Valentine's Day? Let's talk about that first. Um, personally, I have no plans, <laughs> really no plans for Valentine's Day. So let's see, I'm, I want to start with a transition. I think I'm going to use this very, very light pink over here first and then start bringing in this darker pink. So like I said, no actual plans for Valentine's Day. Uh, Valentine's Day is a Sunday this year, so Alvin's actually working. Yeah, so Alvin is working. Um, hopefully it doesn't snow again. So I'm filming this a week before, so the Sunday before Valentine's Day, and it's snowing again. So we had a big snowstorm here in Jersey like a week ago or a week from when I'm filming it. So two weeks from when this was posted. And we got like a foot and a half of snow, which is kind of a lot of snow. And I don't think the state was like super prepared for it because a little bit before that storm, we were told there was gonna be a storm and we ended up only getting like an inch of snow. And so everyone was like, Psh, that's nothing. Um, and then this storm hit and I don't think everyone was prepared and they were like, oh, it's not gonna be as bad as they say it's gonna be. And then a foot and a half of snow later, we were snowed in basically for two days. Well, one the day of the storm and then one day after because they didn't have um, enough resources to come and like fully plow the streets and we just couldn't get our car out of the garage. So Alvin got two snow days, which was nice for him. He doesn't get a whole lot of time off of work. So he got to just stay home, relax. Uh, yeah, and just relax. He was playing some video games. He was watching some shows out in the living room. I worked from home like usual because thankfully I do work from home and the weather doesn't have as much of an effect on me as it used to back when I was taking two trains to commute to work, right? Um, so anyway, so we got snowed in from that. We just got to the point where like everything's plowed, we've got, we're okay, and today it's snowing again. <laughs> I don't know how many inches we're supposed to get, but oof, I hope we don't get another like foot of snow. That would just absolutely suck, especially because right now, I'm filming this on Sunday, Alvin's at work right now. So he left early this morning before it started snowing, but now that it's snowing, I just hope it's not thick enough that he can't like get back into the garage when he gets home. So yeah, just hoping that it doesn't snow too, too much again. Um, yeah, what about the second pink color? But yeah, so since Alvin has to work and on Sunday, so he works for his family grocery store and Sunday is the day that his parents have off. So he's like the only manager on Sunday. So he has to work open to close. So he works like eight to seven on Sunday. So it's a long day. Um, I'm basically just gonna be making us a nice dinner. I'm thinking like steak, you know, something nice. Um, and then just relaxing, watching a movie. Nothing too high maintenance. I actually found, I was going through my emails the other day, I found the receipt from the last restaurant we went to before COVID hit. And it was last year's Valentine's Day. We made reservations, which is why I had an email receipt and I didn't remember having it. We made reservations at our, fam our favorite restaurant, which is um, Echo Tap and Grill over in Mountainside, New Jersey. And we went there for Valentine's Day, loved it. And they have this flank steak, which is just to die for. Um, so yeah, that was actually the last time we went out to eat. We have like ordered takeout and delivery to try, cause we've been trying to support local businesses as we, as much as we can. Um, ever since the move, uh, we've been trying to save money and I've been doing a lot of the cooking. Um, but we ordered last night from a local Chinese place. We're trying to find like a go-to local pizza place and a go-to local Chinese place. Um, cause those are the, kind of the two go-tos we do whenever we do want to order takeout. Um, so we tried one of those. It was actually pretty good, not too expensive. Uh, not the best place ever, but we're still looking. So we try to support where we can. Um, Cause for me, I know that like cases aren't as bad, but like I see people going out to eat, like you don't need to go out to eat. Like it just kind of boggles my mind. Like we, COVID is still huge. It's people are still dying and people are risking other people's lives so they could go out to eat. I, I really don't understand that at all. So this is your, daily PSA reminder that you do not have to go out to eat. That is not a necessity. If you want food, you can order it for pickup or get delivery. <laughs> that's uh, that's where I'll stand because I really don't understand. Like we drive by 
when we go grocery shopping, we drive by these restaurants and people are out, you know, eating outside and like the waiters are in full like face shield, masks, gloves, everything. And like, I want to support their businesses, which is why I will order, you know, takeout delivery. And I always tip, even if it's a takeout order, um, I do tip because I think through Uber Eats and through the restaurant directly, you can tip the restaurant um, whenever you do pick up. Uh, so I always do that. But it just blows my mind that people are out trying to pretend that like this isn't still as bad as it is. Anyway, let me get off that soapbox <laughs> and move on to the next shade. So I think I'm gonna move in what shade. I kind of want to use these two shades and I think I'm gonna bring out a card. Actually, I don't have to bring out a card. Ah, one of the best parts about doing your eyes first is that you can just wipe up and remove any excess makeup. So I'm gonna go into those deep shades and just start building up my outer V. So let's see, we talked about Valentine's Day. Oh yeah, so no plans. Um, and the only thing I asked Alvin for, I love getting like flowers, like bouquet of flowers. So I just asked for a flower bouquet and he's already ordered it and he said it's gonna get delivered the Friday before Valentine's Day. And I'm sure I'm gonna post that to Instagram whenever I actually do get it. For, for gifts, I really like either just flowers or like handmade gifts. Like Alvin is just so great at like making really nice handmade cards for holidays and I love them so much. That and he makes origami roses. Like for a first date, he made me this one origami rose that was so cute. It was a black and white rose. And then for our first year anniversary, he made me a whole bouquet of origami roses. And it's just so pretty. And I still have them out. They're on display out in the living room. And I just love them so much. And I think that's just something I've always felt more drawn towards or like homemade gifts. Uh, it doesn't even have to be like origami. Anything that like you put time into as opposed to just buying something. I mean, buying... Something is still nice, you know, but I personally just love those like handmade gifts, homemade gifts. I don't know if I'm just really weak or if this palette's heavy because like my arm was hurting from holding it up. Oof, oof, Monica. I have to say for this pro palette, I really love how easy like the mattes are to blend. With some of the lighter shades, you do have to build up the shade because like that light pink didn't show up as like pigmented on my eye. But the rest of the shades, they're just, they blend so nicely. So before I clean up my under eye and kind of shape the wing, I kind of just want to go in with a base of one of these shimmers. I'm going to go on top of it with the glitter glue and probably something from the Crystal Zodiac palette. But let's do this one. So I'm going to take this shimmer shade and just get it on my finger and just apply it to give me a base. Ooh, that's pretty. Ooh, that looks very cute already. Mm. Okay, so I'm gonna get a little bit of glitter glue on my lid and I wanna go in with this rose quartz shade, shimmer shade for all over the lid. Uh, recently, so I found a new way of using glitter glue that I kind of like a little bit better because um, when I was using my Pan That palette, Natasha Denona shades, the way I typically applied glitter glue with the brush, it just didn't really mesh well with the Natasha shades in my Pan That palette. So I started trying um, to just apply glitter glue with like my finger. And so like I just tap it on and diffuse it like this. And then I put on the shimmer, same with the finger, just on top and kind of blend it out like this. And for the Natasha shades that I tried this with, it turned out so much better than the other way, the just more traditional way I was applying glitter glue. So I'm gonna try that with here and we're gonna see how it looks. Okay, and then take that same brush. I'm not putting any more product on it, but I just want to kind of blend up. Okay, let's do the other eye. All right, what else did I want to talk about? Um, so we're basically settled into the apartment, which is really nice. We just have a few other things that we have to save up to purchase. Like we're not going to get a couch for a while. Um, the kitchen's just about done. We've seen a few kitchen things here and there. Um, we're slowly just picking up things. We had to buy like a bunch of stuff in January for like, you know, the bare necessities. But now it's like little by little with each new paycheck, we're just picking up a few things. Like we just picked up like two wine glasses. Um, we just picked up a, you know, the wine cork thingy. <laughs> I don't know what it's called, the, the wine opener, bottle opener. Um, little things. I really want to get us a nice chopstick set, but the one that we wanted is now sold out on Amazon, so we got to find another one. Um, but we're just slowly picking up things here and there. And overall, I am just so happy here. It's amazing how much of a weight has kind of been lifted since I'm no longer living with family. I don't want to get too into it, but uh, let's see. My family is a little toxic. 
Yeah, and it just, it wasn't, like, fantastic for, like, my mental health to, to be there. And it was getting really bad in the last year. Um, and I didn't really realize how bad it was and how much I had to do to, like, compensate and, like, keep myself sane until I was no longer there. Um, and it's just been amazing. It's been amazing. And there's so many things that I, I get to go back to doing that I loved doing before I had to move in with family that I couldn't do. Um, or that I did before that I could no longer do with the family, like cooking. I love cooking. I never could cook when I was with my family. Um, just like the regular YouTube stuff, I had to like almost hide when I was filming and everything because they would kind of, I don't want to say ruin it, but they would ruin it. Um, I had to hide washing my makeup brushes because I would get yelled at for wasting water because who, why do you need to wash a makeup brush? I There's just so many little everyday things that were 10 times more difficult being in that house that I don't even have to worry about here. And it's just, it's just made me feel amazing, to be honest, amazing. So uh, yeah, so while it was a lot of work in January, getting everything moved in and like built and everything now that we're settled and I've got like free time on my days off and like also working, it's just so much easier. Now that I've got like an office with a door I can go into, it's, it's it's been amazing and I, I am grateful every day that I was finally able to move and now Alvin and I can start trying to build a life together. And now I have a chunky a chunky friend who gets to hang out with me every day. Rex. <laughs> okay, so I think the top part of the eyes are done. I am gonna next go into primer. So let's try this butter putty primer. And since I don't have a little thingy, I'm just gonna use this cuticle thing to scrape up some of the product. Oh no, I lost some. Okay, we'll just do there, huh, stay. Ooh, it is silkier than both the e.l.f. and the Makeup Revolution. Like it, it melts into the skin easier. And it is slightly scented. So I'm gonna use my uh, primer brush and wipe off a little of the product. Oh no. Yeah, so I'm gonna do it on this side. I think this probably applies better with your fingers. Let's see. Yeah, this definitely applies better with your hands. Oh, it is pilling a little bit on my neck. Okay, so I do see my pores are blurred a little bit right around here, which is kind of where they're the worst. It does feel, which is odd, like slightly kind of oily on my face. So if you have oily skin, I don't know how this would work for you because it's not like as thick as the other putty primers that I've tried. But let's see how it works with some foundation. So let's jump into the Butter Believe It foundation and concealer. And since it is marketed as a foundation and concealer, I do eventually want to try it as a concealer, but I think today I'm just going to use it as a foundation and use the Dermacol as my concealer. So let's see, you've got a nice little pump here. I am going to pump this onto my brush first. So let's see. Okay. Well, it's actually not a bad shade match. Okay, and I'm gonna just apply this with a brush on both sides, but I'm gonna blend it out on this side of the sponge and see how it looks. Okay, get it down here. Okay, yeah, so on me, it's definitely looking better with the uh, sponge to blend it out. So I'm just gonna... Ooh, that's loud. I think that was a plow. I think they're salting the roads already. Okay, so this is solid, like, medium coverage, almost full coverage right off the bat. Uh, I only say it's not total full coverage because I am seeing, like, some of my breakouts kind of peek out and a little bit of redness, but this looks nice. Okay, so I need to be careful how I apply this up here so I don't ruin my eyebrows. So I'm gonna go into the smaller concealer brush and just take a little bit, I think there might still be product on the brush. Yeah, there's a little bit of product there. So I'm just gonna get that last bit of product there. And then I'm just gonna take a little like half a pump onto this concealer brush. 
boom. And then just kind of apply upward. I don't want too much product on the brush when I go to outline my eyebrows, otherwise it's gonna bleed. So let's try to be careful. And then carefully, carefully. So that's looking really nice. And as I come in and like kind of zoom in on aspects of my face, it looks really even. The only places I'm a little worried about is like right on top of my breakouts. It looks a little dry. So I'm gonna keep an eye on those, but it feels like it's drying down just a little bit. I don't know if I want it to dry down fully because I am gonna powder over this but I really like the finish so far. It looks cute. Okay, moving on. Uh, for concealer, I'm just going with the Dermacol. So I'm gonna take a little bit of the Dermacol on that same concealer brush and right under the eyes. And shoop. I've been doing a lot of experimentation recently with like different makeup techniques. Like I mentioned with like the um, different ways I'm using the glitter glue and I don't know if you guys want to see a video like just about different techniques I've tried, what I'm currently using. So let me know down below if you guys want to see just a, like techniques I've really been loving recently or techniques you need to try out kind of video. Okay, I want to see how the foundation wears today, so I'm not going to put concealer anywhere else. I'm just going to do it under my eyes. Oh, I got powder all over my shirt. Fun fact, that's why I get dressed last in my routine. <laughs> Whenever I go to work or get ready for work or going out or anything, I always get dressed in like my around that, or get dressed. I always get ready in my around the house kind of clothing because ultimately I will spill something onto it. <laughs> and then getting dressed is like the last thing I do before I, I walk out the door. I always get dressed last because I've spilled too many things. I've gotten powder everywhere. That's just how it goes. Okay, and to finish it out, I am just powdering with the Rimmel Stay Matte Powder in 001. Okay, and while the bake sets just a little bit, I'm gonna use a Q-tip just to clean my lips because I don't really like putting lipstick on when I've got foundation or concealer lips on. There we go, nice and clean. Okay, we're looking a little pale, so let's add some color back into this face. All right, so for most of my face powders, I want to use this Hourglass Hello Camera um, Ambient Editing Ambient Edit Unlocked palette. This is the last Hourglass product I believe I own, so I kind of want to see if, how much use I can get out of this because um, I do not support them anymore, considering how shitty their skin skin ranges, their shade ranges are. So I'm gonna use these two together, uh, bronzer and contour, and I don't think I'm gonna use the blush in here, but I do like the highlight, so I'm gonna use that highlight. Let's see, I'm liking going in with contour first, so I'm gonna go into the contour. So let's see, what else do I wanna talk about? Ah, so, selling makeup. So I finally, I what I needed to do in order to get a, either, I don't know if I'm gonna do a Poshmark, a Mercari, or a Depop, it's actually on my list today of things to figure out, because my goal is um, by the end of February to have a storefront set up where I can start selling um, lightly used makeup or makeup that I, I just never used um, online like decluttered things, uh, things that just ended up not working out for me, things, there are a few things that I get as like freebies, not in PR, but like I bought something from Ulta and I got a free palette with it and I don't use that palette. So I do kind of just wanna get rid of those. Um, and they're not things, they're basically things that like my friends and family have passed up. Uh, Cause when I declutter, I go to friends and family and then I try to donate. But like right now because of COVID, donating is a little hard, at least with makeup. Um, and actually a lot of donation centers around me have actually closed down in the last year, which is very unfortunate. So um, I want to donate to clutter as much as I can. And then the rest, I just want to be able to sell a little bit just to recoup a little bit on that investment. <laughs> so I will post it on my Instagram and on my community tab here on YouTube when it's finally set up. Um, Cause what I had to get, I had to get a printer so I could print the shipping labels. And then I went and I picked up some bubble mailers, some packing material, uh, tape, you know, all that stuff. So now I've actually got all of it set up and I can't wait to finally get it together. So I'm gonna take all the pictures, get everything organized. And my goal is to make it all live on like one day. I don't know what day that's gonna be. 
Um, but I want to get like everything posted at the same time and then share it out so that um, anyone who was interested can go ahead and pick something up. So for blush, I want to use this loose blush from Crow and Pebble. It's this beautiful mauve shade. Let me see. I don't want to spill it, but it's this beautiful mauve shade. So I'm going to use a little bit of this and my fluffy brush. And I don't want it to be too overpowering because I do want to go into the bright red lip. But like at the very top here, I want some mauve just like that. See, it just like right here gives me a little bit more shape. Perfect. And I'm going to take a duo fiber brush and just blend that out. Oh, that turned out so cute. Just a, a hint of blush. Do I have blush all over my desktop now? Yes. Yes, I do. All right, we'll go in and with that highlight. This is a very bright, pretty highlight. I'm going to go on my Cupid's bow, the tip of my nose, and then right up here at the top of the cheek. Again, blending out with a duo fiber. Okay, so now that the rest of the face is pretty much done, I want to finish up the eyes and do the lower lash line. So let us get the Pro Cool palette back out. And I'm going to use first the darkest shade, the darkest kind of mauve shade on a liner brush. Because I like applying the shades kind of backwards on my lower lash line. So I take a little liner brush like this um, and I just kind of stamp on the darkest color closest to the lash line like that there we go. and then i take this tiny little blending brush and i blend out that darkest shade first and then when that is blended out i then take either the lightest shade that i use or like the next darkest shade so i think i'm going to take the second shade that i used just a little bit on that same brush and just tap it in and then blend it out and so it kind of gives you that same blended out effect on the lower lash line that you just did on your outer V. And that's kind of just the way that I like to do my lower lash line. For inner corner highlight, I want to take the middle highlight shade from the Crystal Zodiac. So let's just take my inner corner highlight brush, dip in, get a nice bright inner corner highlight. I'm also going to use this to highlight just like the top of my brow bone right there in the middle. Okay, so I know I'm not the best at this, but I kind of want to do lashes with this look. So I've got this pair from Shop Masse. These are the jeans in the premium lashes. I'm going to cut these down, do liner, and put these on off camera because I'm not great at it. It's going to take me like 20 minutes, and then we'll be back. Ooh, these lashes are big. <laughs> Definitely not an everyday thing, but I'm, I'm kind of feeling them. Flap, flap, flap. I did mess up the liner. I did line over the lashes. This, this eye came out very, very pretty. And that is a snow plow. So this eye came out really pretty. I like it. And then I just I just messed up the liner right there, but it's fine. Just from back here. Can you see it? No. <laughs> so last but not least, let's do lipstick. I want to go with this nice, like, bright red. So let me just wipe off my chapstick. And this is from a Lash Try Beauty box. This is the Brenda Hearts Dylan something something. I'll put that last Try Beauty box video up in the cards if you're interested. Ooh, ooh, that looks pretty. Ooh, so my hair is looking a little crazy, but this is the final look. I'm so happy with how it turned out. I love the red lipstick. The lashes probably a little too big, but I thought, you know what? Let's have some fun with this. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope each and every one of you has a lovely Valentine's Day, and I cannot wait to see you in my next video. Bye.